Do you have a cold sore? Do you feel stressed, ugly? Join the club, baby. Today we're talking about cold sores. My favorite topic. I feel like a true professional in this subject. I have lived through them multiple, multiple times. What I'm here to tell you is I have seven years of experience with them. I'm <laughs> super qualified. I am here to tell you that it is okay. It's okay not to feel excited about these things on your face. It's okay to be freaked out if this is your first time that happens. I'm here to help. Cold sores are so flipping normal. Nearly 50% of the population has them. I looked up that fact today. Cold sores are caused by the herpes simplex virus. The virus creates little fluid-like bumps are on your face, sores, blisters. They're super painful, uncomfortable, and you feel like a hideous monster. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to prevent them and how to cure them super fast so you can go back to living your normal life. The most important thing to remember here is to not let cold sores make you feel ashamed or ugly or hideous. You are amazing. Don't let them stop you from living your life. Don't let them stop you from enjoying time with your family, a wedding, a fun celebration. Live your life like you normally would because at the end of the day, no one cares about your cold sores as much as you do. No one cares about the way you look. Everyone is dealing with their own insecurities. It could be acne, a sunburn, peeling scalp, foot fungus. There's so much that people are going through that they don't, you're not even aware of, that they just don't even notice that something's wrong with you. If they see a giant blister on your face that's like oozing pus, are they gonna say something? Probably. Who cares if people notice? Who cares if you have to go to work? I had a nasty oozing cold sore for days at the office. You will go back to normal soon, okay? You can go back to living your life, to brushing your teeth without it hurting, to eating all your favorite foods, everything will be okay. While getting rid of your cold sore as fast as possible is so important, the thing that you need to remember is you need to prevent them in the first place because if you have a cold sore right now or if this is your first one, you will most likely get another one in the future. Whether it's because of too much sun exposure, a food allergy, you're not getting enough sleep, you're a little stressed out, anything could trigger cold sores. You literally mess up anything in your immune system and they're here. They're here to stay for at least a week, okay? But there are ways to prevent them. First one is to boost up your immune system. If you're not taking supplements, a multivitamin, vitamin C, what do you do? Another really good supplement is called L-Lysine that helps prevent cold sores and that helps fight them. It'll either stop them from being as severe or it'll prevent them completely. It has worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. Once again, I'm not a doctor. What really helped me, I used to get cold sores probably once every three months. There was a time where I was getting them twice a month. It, it was so bad, so I used to take medicine for them. Well, I realized that I had an allergy to dairy which I kind of already knew based on all my trips to the toilet. And even though I did just have a cold sore, this was my first one in probably six months. After I stopped eating dairy, guys, my life got so much better. I'm not saying that you should do the same, but I think that it might be worth giving a shot getting your allergies tested because that could be triggering your cold sores. I didn't know that that was triggering mine, but that really was hurting my immune system. So once I stopped eating dairy, Life got so much better. I would definitely recommend doing that. I actually had dairy one time since I gave it up. And it, the next day I had flipping, I had a cold sore. Eat healthy, have a green juice from time to time, a little salad. Ugh, I hate vegetables. Now let's talk about how to treat them fast. Don't touch them. If you have a cold sore, don't spread it. Don't use the same towel to dry your mouth and your face. They are so freaking contagious. You don't wanna share drinks with anyone at this time or go smooching around. They are contagious, you will pass them on, you can be contagious to yourself. So last week I had a cold sore here, I, it then spread to here and then somehow spread to here. So I had three at a time. There are so many different opinions about this, but I have tried both methods. Some people say to keep them moist, to keep your cold sores moist, and others say to dry them out. The scab needs to heal and form and stay intact, that way it can fall off and heal on your face. They disappear so much quicker when I actually dry them out. I either put a Briva or a Campo Phenique on them. I personally like Campo Phenique a lot more. I've been using it for years and I think it does work better than a Briva, but whatever. People have different opinions on this too. That's it. And then to keep my lips moisturized around it because it gets so dry, I just put on coconut oil around my lips. While you have your cold sore, stay out of the sun, let your scab heal, take care of your body. You need to heal from the inside out. That is the only way you can truly get rid of it quickly. The sooner you start treating it, the sooner you start being careful with it, the quicker it'll go away. Okay, that's basically it. Don't stress out about it. Eat healthy. Don't drink alcohol. Don't do anything that's gonna 
mess with your immune system because that's really how you, your body heals. Don't mess with the scab, let it heal. That is honestly the quickest, best way to be done with them. Don't pick at it, don't pick at it. You're not ugly because you have a cold tour. No one cares about what you look like. No one's worried about you. Take care of yourself. Be the best you that you can be. You're not ugly, you're not a monster. You need to do what makes you happy. Spend time with your friends. Don't hide in a room for three weeks like I did in the past. Don't do that. Also, if you're wearing a mask, make sure that you switch it out and wash it every single time that you wear it. You do not want to keep re-wearing the mask that's been touching your cold sores. Don't irritate them. Be careful. You got this. Let me know how it goes. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. You can DM me or leave them in the comments down below. Guys, you got this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Be my friend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.